today I am going to discuss about total dissolved salt, non TDS. So this is a simple TDS meter. This is a TDS meter, and today you know what is the importance of TDS, total dissolved salt, means such proper optimum concentration of salt in your drinking water, means salt regarding sodium, salt regarding calcium, salt regarding iron. So excess amount of salt, it can affect your health, and low concentration of salt, it can also affect your health. You know, iron deficiency causes anemia. If there is no sufficient amount of iron in your water, then it causes anemia. But excess amount of iron, it is going to affect your digestion. Next, that is calcium. You know, calcium very important for your bone formation. So you must check the TDS of your drinking water if this TDS is in the range of 50 to 150 then it is good excellent and if the tds of your drinking water is 150 to 250 then it is good okay so all of you try to understand the you have to check your tds you have to check your tds okay of your drinking water okay so uh, you never drink the TDS value of your drinking water above uh, 1000. Okay? So there are different range that is 50 to 150 that is the excellent range and then uh, 150 to 250 that is the good range and then 250 to 300 that is the fair range and then 300 to 500 that is the poor. So avoid to take the drinking water that have TDS value more than 300 and less than 50, okay? And if you, your uh, what, uh, drinking water have TDS value 1000 and above that, then never take that type of water because it is going to affect so many complications in your body. So many heavy metals may be present in that type of drinking water and it is affect your so many complications as your proper uh, health point of view for your health, for your family health, for your society health and for your uh, nearby uh, people health. Okay. So today I want to discuss and I want to check the TDS. This is the TDS meter, simple, it is a simple device and you have to on that one, switch on, okay, that is on condition. So you will get the zero value. You will get the zero value. And then I have taken a sample that is drinking water. This is the drinking water. And when you put dip inside that, when you dip inside that, you can observe the TDS. Okay. So if it is, if it is, if it is, you dip it, you will get that it is nearby 88. So it is good range. It is nearby 88, it is good in range. Now this is a drinking water, that is the filter water of my filtration unit. Okay. Next uh, I have taken the sample, that is the tap water. Okay. So you have to check the TDS value of the tap water also. Okay. So if you dip inside that, simple. Okay. So you will get the TDS of that uh, tap water is 125. 125 okay so it is also in good condition that is 50 to 150 but if you check the rainy water tds this is i have collected today is rainy day so i have collected the rain water and try to check this the tds value of that rainy water so if you dip you will get the it is approximately 145 145 so it is in good range, you know, this is in good range, but uh, if the TDS value of your drinking water is above 300, then never take such type of water because ultimately it is going to affect your health, okay. So this is why I am telling because 
it is going to affect your formation of RBC if there is a deficiency of iron and if there is a deficiency of calcium in that situation also it is going to affect your bone formation if there is a deficiency but in excess quantity it is going to affect your digestion and sodium sodium should be in optimum condition salt i am talking about it is a total dissolved salt sodium should be in optimum condition you know sodium help in not impulse conduction so that's why you should be alert and create awareness among your family among your society thank you and have a nice day